have you completely forgotten about those New Year's resolutions you set a few weeks ago with my last video? Or at the beginning of the year because your shit was together? This is what you can do every month to make sure those goals don't get forgotten about again. In this video we're going to be going through a monthly reset and at the end we'll plan out how we're going to actually fulfill those new year's resolutions that we set out. I'm gonna try and make this video not too similar to my last one and just show you what I'm doing rather than just sitting here and talking shit. I've created a notion template that you can download for free that you can use to follow along with this video. A clear space equals a clear mind. So let's do that first. If you decluttered something for New Year's, then hopefully your space doesn't fucking look like mine. I'm in the middle of what feels like a hundred projects. There's an air fryer on top of my suitcase and just general tomfoolery. So the way I'm going to handle this is I'm going to tidy one thing, which will be my desk. I thought Deep cleaning my fridge will be easiest because I haven't gone grocery shopping and it's currently emptier than my head. And I'm going to decorate slash reorganize my couch because there isn't a mountain of shit on top of it. I literally look like I'm on a casting couch. This is a productivity video. <laughs> This is the part of the video where I tell you to clear out your inbox, clear out your notes app, clear out anything in your digital space while I sit here on my couch and pretend that I'm doing all of those things because I need b-roll to make this video interesting. But regardless of that, just like your physical space can clutter your mind, your digital space can do the same, especially if you work on the computer all day. Even just doing five to 10 minutes of clearing your files out can really compound in the long run if you do these monthly resets consistently. The Aquarius season review, you might call this a February review instead. However, I'm an astrology nerd, if I don't say Aquarius, I mean February. I'm going to do a five minute review. Your prompts are what was a fuck yes this month? What was a fuck no? And what am I grateful for? For each of your New Year's intentions, we're going to outline what worked this month and what didn't work this month. I am also going to review my habit. So for me, what was the fuck yes this month? All of the social things that I did, including Valentine's. I finished a meditation slash visualization program and finishing that freed up an hour out of my morning routine so I reconfigured it to include video editing. I also started The Artist Way and I started taking myself on artist dates which is in the book and that's been really cute and fun for me. What was a fuck no this month? I let editing take up too much of my rest time therefore I didn't rest enough and what am I grateful for? art, YouTube, and my loved ones moving my furniture around my house for me. <laughs> for my health goals, what worked and what didn't, I was not able to wake up on time. Knowing that I had to wake up early and start video editing wasn't a compelling enough reason to wake up in the morning. However, I did notice that when I was doing the meditation program, I was more compelled to wake up. I'm just going to reframe that I'm waking up early for my health because I'm trying to reset my circadian rhythm, not because I'm trying to be productive and edit a video. Which, like, that's what I'll be doing, but that's not why I'm waking up what worked and what didn't work for my YouTube intention. What worked is that it seemed like you guys really enjoyed the video. Thank you for that. Made all my sweat, sweat and more sweat worth it. I was like this close to giving up. It was really hard and I'm just a girl. And what didn't work. I can't be recording when it's too hot. Also looking cute and also looking sweaty. <laughs> if I have to try out a new filming setup or I've got new tech, 
I need to check that beforehand, not on the same day. So with the habit review, you just want to say, did you do your goal of the habit every day? Yes or no? And why? Making my bed probably isn't like the most important goal. So you don't have to ask yourself why. But for something like, why aren't I doing my morning pages every day? Is it because I had to get up early to go to work? Is it because I didn't realize that I could have done them on my phone? Is it because something is keeps coming? coming up for me when I'm writing so it makes me want to avoid the morning pages. So yeah, however deep you want to go is however deep you go. I'm just going to talk through this last section. I'm just going to incorporate the Aquarius season stuff first, so all the learnings that I learned. Thanks, brain, for coming up with that sentence and incorporate them into my monthly goals. I loved getting back into art, so I'm going to incorporate more of that. And the way that I'm going to do that is just making sure there's time in my schedule to allow for that and to not just take up all my time with editing and try and gaslight myself and say that editing is a hobby. I think it's a hobby for a little bit of that time and then the rest of it trying to get a video out, probably not a hobby anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to say I'm going to draw three times a week. Make sure there's open space in my time blocked Google Calendar. I also don't want to pre-plan like on Monday I'm going to draw a picture and on Tuesday I'm going to decorate my house. I just have this empty space in my calendar and I have a little hobby menu that I can choose from that consists of drawing and doodling and playing with Notion. I don't have the problem where I will pick up my phone and scroll for hours on end during free time. I have a collective 15 minutes limit per day on all my social media apps so I don't scroll my soul down to hell. So after referring to my yearly plan these are the monthly goals. My first priority is my health. To recap my overarching goal for the year is to get my vitality back and improve my immune system. How will I be achieving this in a four week period? I'm going to be using my morning routine. What I need to do first is wake up earlier because it resets your circadian rhythm that enhances natural biological functions, blah, blah, blah. I'm just waking up too late and, you know, if you sink your body to the rhythm of the sun and daylight, then your immune system, as well as other cognitive, physical functions, function better. Okay, awesome description. If you have similar health goals, then you need to be doing the research of what exactly you think that you can do in a four week period. Also want to take a note on the wording because waking up early encompasses some productivity elements. So I want to be doing some amount of video creation in the morning where my focus is the best. I've just included that here as well. And the wording that I've used is one hour of showing up to your purpose instead of just like one hour of working or one hour of side hustle or one hour of making a video. So I feel like all of these have negative connotations for me specifically. If this is just purely exercise for you, it could literally be 15 minutes of showing up for your body. And then when you actually have arrived at that time container, then you can decide how you want to proceed. It might be like 15 minutes of yoga or like 15 minutes of high intensity interval training. <laughs> you do that in 15 minutes? I don't know. Maybe it's like you go for a walk. You set the container and the intention. Whatever you do in that time is up to you to decide on the day. Yeah, the wording is very important. Words are magic, words are spells. Why do you think that something someone said to you 10 years ago haunts you, but you can't fucking remember why he walked into a room? Another one of my yearly intentions is to give YouTube a solid shot. How am I gonna do this over a four week period? And also incorporating what I learned in Aquarius season about not filming in 34 degree heat, having more structure in the script for me to talk through. Literally what I'm doing now for this video, I'm incorporating everything that I learned. I think with my current level of YouTube experience, it's not very flowy thing for me to do at the moment. So learning to plan things out first, hopefully streamlines editing process. So we'll find out, I'll find out later when I edit this. So Tracy, did I do good? Did I? 
who knows I've got some other little goals that I'm gonna put in here but I don't want to put my entire life on YouTube like being a mysterious being like who is she who I don't know I don't know who am I I have no idea some Pisces specific goals because Pisces seasons all about rest and art and subliminals affirmations manifestation work why wouldn't I like to just kind of flavor my goal setting session my other goals with some like fun they make a cute flavor to the month so that every month isn't just a repeat of the last um you might notice that some of my goals are a bit weirdly vague some of them are just things that i'm already doing and i just want to make sure that i continue only some of them have numbers attached to them like make at least one video but nothing like working out three times a week or getting a thousand followers on instagram lose x amount of weight you feel stressed by that kind of specificity then I would encourage you to focus more on feelings and emotions I I want to feel excited about opening Instagram and chatting to people because my Instagram's popping off I don't know it's like I would like to do an artwork every month if I have the goal of like one artwork per month I won't do it but if I show up to my computer or to my notebook and just like move my hand around on the art software for an hour and see what comes out then I created consistency I don't know I get stressed out very easily which is why I don't put numbers to my goals anymore I used to be like I need 10,000 followers on Instagram so that I can feel something <laughs> whatever you need to do to delulu yourself into making shit happen do that I hope this video made any semblance of sense if there are any videos that you want to see me talk about I know this one's really similar to my last one so sorry but I really wanted to do a monthly reset I thought it'd be fun and I shouldn't be apologizing for doing the things that I want but if there's something that you want me to create let me know down below and yeah I'll see you next time bye